guys and now we are doing the paper 2021 uh, may june summer paper paper 2 and radiation 2 1 so in this uh, paper we are going to try document production fine let's go uh, for that here task 1 uh, is all about uh, evidence document so let's create uh, let's uh, prepare the evidence document after that we'll go for the document production uh, open the file j2121 evidence.rtf make sure uh, that your name center number and candidate number will appear on every page of this document uh, save this document in your work area as J2121 evidence followed by your candidate number uh, like this it should be fine. Now let's go to uh, the folder and uh, let's open J2121 uh, evidence.rtf this is one just open that. Here is the one we have to uh, add our details in the header so header of this document for that uh, let's go to insert header and take blank three column first name Next, center number and uh, candid number. Okay, then just click outside. This is uh, evidence a header. It's done. And even if you go to the next page, you will see the same header appearing on every page having our details like this okay now uh, we have to save this document in our work area with the name as it is and also we have to add the uh, the candidate number okay now let's go for uh, file save as and I'm gonna save in my folder like this and uh, let me add my candidate number and we have to save we have to save this with uh, type as a word document here okay now let's save this yes it's done okay now let's keep it minimized and let's go for the question paper for further now this task one is fully done task two document you're going to edit a document to help organize a triathlon. A corporate house style must be used. Three paragraph styles have already been created. An additional paragraph style must be created and applied to the document as instructed. So uh, it's saying that uh, three paragraph styles being already created for us. And uh, additional paragraph style must be created by us. Okay, as it is instructed. So those are copper styles uh, we are going to use for our document for this document so it, the, they're going to organize one triathlon uh, it's some competition okay so they have some information about that uh, in the document now open the file g2121 triathlon dot rtf Okay, the piece setup is set to A4 portrait orientation with 2.5 cm uh, margins. Okay, centimeter margins. Do not make any changes to these settings. Okay, it's already done. Okay, it is set to A4 and uh, portrait it is set to and even the margins are set. So we should not change this to anything else. Okay, we are going to use it as it is. Hmm? Uh, the T and body style has been created, stored. And applied to the body text in the document do not make any changes to this as well okay now let me see just let me open that file uh to the lawn where is that where is that yeah there's a one just double click and open 
yeah uh can you see there see the border is being created and another one and another one so these three or as it is said sorry as it is said it's been created so these are the three uh been created as in the beginning it is set okay so we should not do any changes uh, and also uh, the page size layout you can see that page size it's already there as a4 uh, and even the margins are there orientation is also there so that also uh, they told us not to uh, modify it fine so let's take care of that now save the document in your work area uh, in the format of the software you're using okay with a file name ev pack okay we're going to save this uh, with a different name and in as a word document both okay and evidence one uh, we have to give to show this file has been saved make sure even the file type okay now we are doing only one uh, uh, task over here uh, in this step one that is saving the file with a different name and and saving as the word document fine now let's go for it truth alone will become ev pack okay now this i'm leaving it as it is everything google file save as uh in my work area i'm gonna save it ev pack capital letters ev pack one and I'm going to save it as a Word document. So these only two things I have to set for this last task. Only one task in step one. Okay. Is it clear? Fine. Save. Now, next we're going to uh, give the evidence of it. Let me go to the folder. Uh, where is that AV pack? Here is AV pack. Can you see that? Now let me just uh, clearly open the type. Here is the one. Okay. Uh, let me use that cropping uh, app. That is like short. Okay. Even you can highlight with this and all. It's a better one. Now, let me just click on the print screen. Uh, this is the one. Select this EV pack. Evidence 1, we are giving. And uh, this press print screen button. Now, uh, crop in such a way that even this, your file folder, everything is seen there. Okay. And I would highlight it where i save this my file and even i can just point out the file type here this one now let me just copy this go to the evidence and it should be evidence one paste control v yeah this way we got the first uh, evidence okay save the work of evidence now let's get back to the question step one is totally done remove any page breaks from the document let me see any page breaks or existing uh, how to check that for that we have to go home and click this here this is sure hide paragraph marks Okay, just click that and uh, all the paragraph marks will appear where the paragraph is ending and uh, uh, after every line, see there? And uh, here is the one page break. Can you see there? Here is one page break. So what is a page break? It is end of one page and the starting of another paragraph in the other page. Okay, that is a page break. And any more page breaks? Here is a page break. Yes so what how to remove that okay there are two page breaks so how to remove them just click at the end of this uh, paragraph and uh, press delete okay press delete see the page break on the uh, next paragraph appearing just after the uh, after this paragraph 
okay one uh, page break is gone and another one just click after the paragraph and uh, uh, just press delete to get the uh, next page after the speech yeah now another page break gone so this way we can just remove all the page breaks there were two page breaks and we uh, deleted them we removed them okay just save it and click this back show or hide paragraph marks and everything all the marks will disappear you can see that now step two is done okay just uh, highlight it and let's move to the next step three place in the header your name set a number and candidate number right aligned okay uh, place in the footer automated page number center aligned first first let's do that this one okay our name center number candidate number right aligned in the header of this okay now let's go to the top that's a header insert and go to header having three column blank and what we have to uh, take the towards the right the side so we don't want the center and the left okay if you see the question again uh towards right can you see that right okay all three details in the right okay now let's take that uh name of the candidate and uh center number and then comes candidate number okay done now let me just delete this select and delete Okay, select and alert. Just save this. Now, let's go for the next uh, part of this uh, step. Place in the photo automated page number right uh, center aligned. Okay, let's do that. Center align. Uh, just click outside, double click outside. Now, let's go to the footer. Insert footer. Again, we can take three column. I need only the center one okay just select it and uh, as you select you can see header footer menu appears so it's a dynamic uh, then what you have to do is click on this I'll directly page number okay only page numbers right a uh, page numbers center align okay these are the page numbers and uh, bottom of the page like this fine you can see second page two page three this is center aligned automated page numbers these are then make sure that the header alignment matches the page margin do not uh, text uh, no other text or placeholders are included in the headers or footer areas headers and footers are displayed on all pages now let's just make sure of those uh, uh, three uh, aligning with the page uh, margins the headers and footers and there is no extra text in this header and footer yes it's all exactly aligning over here yes and uh, the third one is headers and footers are displayed on all pages that's already there okay this is done now let's move to the next four at the start of the document enter the title through the lawn event pack okay let me enter that go to the top and click in the beginning where the welcome is there then press enter and take the cursor up now what we are supposed to enter to the lawn uh show the lawn event pack to the lawn event pack okay let me save this four is done now here are the corporate styles pack of styles uh, create and store the following style based it basing it on the default paragraph style okay now let me just uh, create the style tn title fine style name is tn title 
so for this we have to keep the cursor at last at the end of the document always make sure at the end of the document you you're keeping your uh, cursor whenever you create the styles okay now let's go here you have to click this down arrow key and create a style now what is the style name t n hyphen uh, let me just check again title title modify now what are the specifications of this serif font 34 center serif font we have a microsoft sans serif uh, let's use that yeah we got that this is the one and uh, this is 30 36 is it 36 34 sorry it's 34 it's not there just enter 34 now next it's alignment is center uh, bold italic single space before zero and after also zero bold italic both this is bold and italic and single line spacing can you see there single line spacing this is single line this is double line this is triple line so this is single line spacing fine and uh, uh, under paragraph we have the spacing uh, before and after see here it's a six let's change that to zero so zero points before and zero points after okay okay this style has been uh, getting created fine done now we can see a TN title over here yes so just save the work now let's go to the question five is done Apply the TN title style to the uh, title text entered in step four. Yeah, just now we entered the title. That one something something was that uh, to the lawn and all. Just select it fully and we are going to apply that to this. Okay, save the work. Next, evidence uh, to show a screenshot that the style settings have been defined for the TN title style. Make sure the style is based on the default paragraph style. Okay, let's just go and open the style, the one just we created. Okay, uh, here just right click, modify. Okay, and uh, here is the one. Based on... The default paragraph style it's normal okay so see style based on fine so this one we have to take a print okay take a print now just click print screen button let me just open light shot then print screen button and just take a screenshot of the style copy now go to the evidence see okay over here now come to this even here I got just remove this all now here is the one Paste it. Okay. Save. Now let's go to the question. Step six. Select subheading general general and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending competitors in each category. Okay. Uh, from where? From general to this okay general to this and uh, what we are supposed to do change the page layout so that uh, only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width 
with a 1.5 centimeters space between them okay from way to where i have to from general uh, subheading to uh, competitors in each category okay let me just check that general to here here from this uh till where it is is it ending just let me just see no yeah look at this it's a here okay till here till here okay now go to layout okay you want me find layout columns more columns then select two and the spacing is 1.5 cm okay done the suite is wanted okay save the work now let's go sixth is done apply bullets to the text from uh, swing 60 minutes to this uh, which bullets we have to apply any bullets we can apply okay let's apply that uh, where is that swing uh, from here to here look at that those three now go home and here are the bullets any bullets you can take this 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 any one okay let's go for this next Make sure that the bullets are indented 1.5 centimeters from the left margin. Uh, the list is in single line spacing with no space before and after the line. Each line. Uh, there is a six point space after uh, the last item in the list. Okay, only if, uh, after. It's not each line. Okay, then what? We will do first of all we'll check 1.5 indentation give okay, let's open that here is the one go to this paragraph click in the corner okay click in this corner so you will get all the, the features of a paragraph and here you see indentation from left it should be 1.5 cm okay this one and after this see spacing uh, after everything is not there just it, it shows after every uh, line spacing is a single here see single line it's already there and space before and after the paragraph okay before it's nothing line spacing is single right okay and here so here you see 